I got an email from Mary. She says, Dear Tyler, can you please make me a website? But I haven't been a freelance developer in a long time, so I needed a genius business plan to really pull this off. After thinking for a few seconds, it hit me. And here's the four-step plan I came up with. Step one, believe in myself. Number two, provide huge value for low cost. Number three, post a video on YouTube about it so I can get more clients and then people can see what a nice guy I am. And finally, D, in the long run, after I get enough clients, I'll boost up my prices and rake in the dough. So then I told Mary it would be $50 per hour and she said yes. Mary already has a website name and hosting, which is what you need in order to have a website. To get your website name and hosting where you store all of the information, you can go to a website like hostinger.com and they are super, super good and inexpensive. If you go to hostinger.com forward slash unlock, U-N-L-O-C-K, then that is my coupon code and I get commission, but that's also who I use. And then you have a whole bunch of plans here, but you can just choose the least expensive plan. And then it asks you how many months you want to go for. You want to go for at least 12 because then you get a free domain name. And it's as simple as that. So super easy. There are thousands and thousands of hosting companies. Mary is using one called HostGator, which is also really good. I've been using them myself for 14 years. So you can choose Hostinger or HostGator. And you can also go to hostgator.com forward slash unlock to use my coupon code and I get a commission. And again, you can choose the plan that costs the least and you can choose your website name and put it in right here and go with one year because again, you get a free domain name and you don't need any add-ons and yep, that's about it. Next, I'm going to start a stopwatch to keep track of all of my time. I think this could be a huge selling point in the future because people will really trust what I'm doing because I'm actually recording it. I hire freelancers myself and a lot of times I just have no idea what they're doing. And I have a suspicion that they are inflating their hours. My strategy is a little bit different. I want to provide the most value possible to the client so that it really amazes them. Right now, I'm just making a folder that I'm gonna share with Mary so I can gather all of her things and she can add anything that she wants. So any content, any logo, anything. Next, she sent me some things in email, so I'm just gonna make a Google Doc and put all of that stuff in there. In her email, it mentioned that it's a website for a medical spa. She emailed me a mood board and a logo, and then she emailed me a bunch of her services. Yeah, and I'm just gathering all of it in one place. I also got a list of services in a spreadsheet, so I'm just gonna add that. And here's an image of someone on her team. The image was too big, so I went to resize it. Usually PNGs are too big for an image and you want it to be JPEG. So I just found a resizer and resized it online. It was 21 megabytes, which is huge. And we got it down to about one megabyte, so 21 times smaller. That's still a little large, but it'll work for now. It's bothering me a little bit, so I just opened it up on my computer and I'm gonna save it for an even smaller file. The computer didn't do that great of a job, so I resaved it on this one, and now it's 249 kilobytes, and that's about right. And it really doesn't look any different. All right, now that we have all of the information that Mary gave us, we need to download the AI coder, and this is called anti-gravity. Anti-gravity is super great because it works on a Mac, it works on a PC, it's free, and they give you a lot of credits. You can use it for free for a long time. So once we've downloaded it and installed it, this is what it looks like when it's open. An AI coder allows us to code so much quicker than anything else. So what we want to do is go to our desktop and create a new folder and let's just call it Mary and then go back to anti-gravity and then just open folder and go to our desktop and select the Mary folder and open it. Now I'm going to go back to my Google Drive and just download everything in a folder and it's going to make me a zip file and I'll just download it. Once it's downloaded, I'll just put it on my desktop and I will unzip it. And we can see we have all of the files from our Google Drive now on our computer. Let's put it into the Mary folder. So I'm just going to rename all of the files so it's super simple for the computer to know what is what. And then once we do that, we can just drag it on over. 
I'll put all of the images into an image folder in the Mary folder, and then I'll make a new folder, and I will name it maybe Vision or something like that, and put all of the other files that are the vision for the project. And it doesn't really matter how you do it, but basically we want to give all of the files to the AI so it knows what it's doing. There's different models to choose from. You can just go with Gemini 3 Pro High or whatever the highest Gemini is right now. Another model that's really good right now is the Anthropic model called Opus 4.5. But if there's an Opus 5 right now, obviously choose that. Now I'm just going to instruct it to make me a website in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And we can use PHP. I know this sounds like super complex and nerdy, but this is just all of the technologies that her server can run that we got from the host gator or hostinger then i'm just going to tell the ai that these different folders exist like the logo and the image folder then i'll let it do its thing and it's going to make a plan and the crazy thing about this is it codes it all and then it checks its work so it'll go through each page and it'll make sure that it did a good job and right now you see the blue highlight around it that's it checking its own work to make sure it did a good job. Now that's pretty crazy. So now I can check it also. It told me it made a new server at localhost 8000. That's just the address. And I can go through each of the pages and it looks pretty good. One thing I notice is it's all on a single page and I don't really like that for SEO. And I just don't like that in general. So I'm just gonna tell it that I want all of the pages to be separate and a book now page. Then it's going to create all of the pages and again check its own work. And it's going to go one by one and check everything to make sure it's working. And that is looking pretty good. It will check the service page and the providers page. Now obviously everything isn't perfect. There's duplicate images. But it did put in all of the content which is really cool. And now I'm just going to go back and forth and try to make it perfect. Right here, I'm asking it to create its own images using Nano Banana. That's what it's called. That's the image creator. And it does it. And that's the cool thing about anti-gravity is it has its own image generator. So it's going to create some really cool images for me that go with the website. I kept on running into errors for some reason. So I switched the AI model to Sonnet 4.5. But you should be using Opus because it's the newer model. But Sonnet did a really great job, and this is what it looks like. This is super, super cool. This would have taken so long to build traditionally. It would have taken hours and hours to even get this far. This is pretty crazy. Anything that I saw that I didn't like, I would just take a screenshot and say, I don't like this, change it. And I just did that over and over again, and it changed everything like what is this right here that looks crazy so just take a screenshot of it and say that it's wrong and the website kept on getting better and better and it even worked on mobile phones and after a few minutes i really felt like the website was coming together so this is about 56 minutes in still a couple of problems but i think looking really good so now it was time for me to upload the website. I didn't get her hosting information yet, so I'm just going to upload it on my website. So all I did was just log into Hostinger and just find a website that I wasn't using. Click on the file manager and then under public HTML, I'll just take all of those files and just highlight all of them and then just drag them to upload them. Super simple. All right, now that they're uploaded and everything is looking pretty good, we can just go to the website and we see that the website is online and all of the pages are working and that is super cool. And I think it's super important to get feedback early from the client. So I've been working, I think a little bit over an hour. So I just wanna send this email and ask her what she thinks, make sure I'm going in the right direction. And then I can go from there. So I'll check my stopwatch or timer and we see that it's been an hour and 20 minutes and just finish up the email and send it off and tomorrow we'll see what she thinks. And Mary says, I can't believe how much you've done. Wow, looks great. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your help. And there is nothing better than the feeling of making a client happy. And that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to be very valuable to Mary. 
All right, the next thing I want to do is get it onto Mary's actual website. So I'm just going to log into HostGator, which was a little bit trickier than I expected just because we had to do two-factor authentication. So I had to coordinate with Mary to get that number. But basically, once you're in, it's pretty simple. You just go to the file manager on HostGator, and then you go to the public HTML, and you find the website. And here is where the website is stored. It's called website 636466E0. So we see that right here, and that's where all the files are stored. So we just go to the file manager again, and inside public HTML, we can see that. So we can just click on it. And then basically we're going to put all of our files here. So at first I tried to click, drag and hold all of the files, but I realized that that's not going to work. So then I clicked on this upload button up here and tried to select all the files and just drag them over. But that actually didn't work either because it didn't upload everything inside of the folders. So I went back to the file manager and deleted all of those files. We're going to try a different way. And so what I did is I took Mary's folder and I compressed it, I zipped it, and then I uploaded that zip file by, of course, going to upload and not just dragging it in like I did before. So just click, hold, and drag the file in there. And I actually made a mistake. I should have just zipped all of the files like this. So it's not two folders I have to go down. And then just dragging the zip file in there and it will upload. All right, once the file is uploaded, we can refresh this and we can extract this. So it will extract all of the files and all of the folders and everything. Everything will be in there. So we can just click refresh one more time and all of those files are in there and we can delete this zip if we want and we can confirm. And we can see that the website does work. And one thing that I didn't mention I redid her logo because her original logo was just too square and it didn't fit in well and I had the AI redo it so I did that free of charge and I did it free of charge because I didn't know if the AI could actually redo a logo so perfectly but because the logo was SVG which means it was made out of math I figured it could do it and it took about 15 minutes well it took the computer 15 minutes so I just did that for free so the website is up, it's working, it's mobile friendly, it looks really nice. If Mary ever wanted to make changes with it, you can just select everything and download it as a zip file by clicking this compress button at the top right and it'll compress it. And then once you download it, you can go to your desktop and then you can unzip it and rename it. And then you can open it up in anti-gravity and you can make any changes that you want. So just ask the AI what you want and then just re-upload it just like I showed you before. The last thing that I want to do is send Mary an invoice. So I'm just going to do $50 divided by 60, not times 60, $50 divided by 60 and get how much per minute it is and then multiply that by how many minutes I worked. 100 minutes which is obviously just changing the place value so i'm just going to send that off with stripe and it will generate a link and i could just copy this link and include it in an email then i made a final email to mary just showing everything that i did and also with the payment information and i just sent that off and in about a day she paid so super quick payer Mary was super awesome. If you want me to make you a website and to make a video out of it, then you can email me at tylermore at gmail.com. This project was super fun. I hope you guys learned a lot. Thank you so much.